Hi ho! Well, um, getting back on the scene here. Uh, this is a video for Windows or Macintosh because this program is available for both. It's also available for Linux. You may be familiar with it. It's Frostwire. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick run up on how the program runs, how you should set up your settings, and what I recommend is best for you. Frostware is a P2P, which is peer to peer uh, sharing program. Uh, well, not as much peer to peer anymore because LimeWire got shut down for that for file sharing, and that's obviously against the law. Frostwire, fire, blah, blah, blah. Frostwire is uh, pretty much a uh, torrent downloader uh, for torrents. You can purchase torrents online. You can also have torrents the other way, but uh, I'm not going to go into that. Basically, I'm just going to show you the settings of the program, how it runs, how it operates, and what I recommend for your system's best performance. So, as you can see, I have Frostwire 514 downloaded and installed on my drive. So, um, and to simply get this, just go to frostwire.com and it'll see uh, download now and uh, just download it, it'll automatically link to whatever system you're running and you just download that and install it and you're set. Things that you want to do during the installation is after it installs, while you're, well, when you install it, make sure you uncheck all the checkboxes so you don't uninstall any third party toolbars or whatever because I hate toolbars, they slow your computer down. Um, so uh, be sure that you uncheck any of that stuff. Usually it's uh, ask.com those uh, kind of things and so anything that's third party other than Frostwire make sure you do not uninstall that when you go through the installation you're gonna select English and you can set up some of your settings there and I'm gonna go over the settings that you can set up right now so here it is this is what Frostwire looks like and you will see advertisements for stuff pop up like uh, uh, news broadcastings and uh, live performances and things like that that have been on like public television or something that are not illegal to download because they're on public television so you can own it um, because it's free to the public for public television and uh, any new bands that have come out that want to get their music out there on the network you will see that come up like uh, the ugly club here so um, basically I'm just gonna go over a few things so what you're gonna do is uh, go to tools and you're gonna go to options so open up the options and you will see the BitTorrent bar uh, you can choose where to save your um, torrent files that you download so I'm just gonna do that real quick for you and show you how to do that so I'm gonna click browse because torrent data is actually fairly hard to find um, <clears throat> within your system because you have to go to C and then you have to go to users and your name whatever it is in my case would be death rain 333 you can see the path right here users death rain 333 uh, frostwire and torrent data well I'm just gonna change that to um, going up a level here and I'm gonna get to uh, death rain and I'm just gonna go to my documents which is light which is what I like to change it to and just put it in the frostwire folder so I'm gonna select that frostwire folder so now wherever anything is that I download through frostwire it will be in my documents in a frostwire folder so that is fairly helpful so I would recommend doing that you can choose to seed finished torrents um, don't seed finished torrents, blah 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 blah. Some trackers will penetize this leaching behavior. So I recommend you seed whatever you download so that it can be downloaded quicker by the public uh, for what torrents you purchase online. Now, community chat. This is where you just type in a simple name for your chat box. There is a chat on here. You can talk with other people on Frostwire at the moment being. Um, you can just randomly shout out to random people that you don't even know so uh, you can create a name there player is uh, used Frostwire media player this is the media player down here at the bottom left hand corner um, there's also a video player so if you play videos out of Frostwire it'll pop up with a special video player status bar you can show a firewall indicator and all that fun stuff show connection quality indicator and the show the bandwidth I advise showing all of those now Frostwire you can also link to iTunes if you have iTunes on your computer basically uh, this is just automatic importing of songs and stuff that you download to your iTunes so songs videos photos things like that it will put be put in your iTunes sync for if you have an Apple TV, iPad, iPod, iPhone, or any other iDevice, even another Macintosh, 
and you can do that over via the iCloud. Importing, pretty simple. Automatically imports your stuff to iTunes. Bug reports. You can always ask for a review and always send immediately. I recommend leaving it as always ask for review so you can choose to send it whether or not you think it's a big problem or not. View, you can revert to a default section, uh, which I prefer not to do, um, which is basically searching for distinctive files, um, which is a no-no. Notifications, that's the pop-ups that also come down on the right-hand corner. They pop up on the right-hand corner of your screen on the bottom, and it'll say when something's finished downloading or things like that. Frost click promotions. Enable frost click. Blah, 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 blah. This is basically your welcome screen, which is this shit right here. This nice little icon in the center. Uh, basically, that's just advertising. And text auto completion. You can enable or disable auto completion of text fields. Basically, that is text documents that you have downloaded. Searching. You can set up what to search for. This is going to go and say how many searches you can have at a time your searches will be put up here on the bar so for an example if I search a file which I will show you later which because it's not gonna let me do right now um, you'll have tabs kinda like a web browser and uh, you will see that pop up here you can have a maximum of 10 also you can change this number to whatever you feel is comfortable for you I like 10 but you can change it to 20 you can change it to 45 you can change it to whatever but I like to leave it at 10 the torrents indexed is basically torrents you have purchased and used in FrostWire for downloads. And uh, it'll keep an index of the torrents that you have used. So if one of your files that you have downloaded have tend to be corrupt, you will not have to purchase that torrent again. You will have it saved. Filters. This is basically filtering out search results for specific words. Like if you want parental controls. This is pretty much a parental control. You can... Um, you can filter out things like XXX or like uh, boobs or anything like that so your children don't get the wrong idea. Keywords, these are keywords that you will be looking for for um, other things such as um, you know pornos and things like that. This is another thing of parental controls. This is the same screen so just click filters or keywords, it's the same thing. If we go to advanced Download new installers for me. Recommended. I do recommend having this there for you. So when you boot up your FrostWire, uh, if you leave it running, this will run in the background. So if there's an update while it's running, um, it'll automatically download that update. And then the next time you boot up your FrostWire, it will install automatically. So that's the updates. Firewall. You can use a firewall. You can use a manual port forward to set up a firewall. Your proxy server. You can make a proxy server if you wish, but uh, you don't necessarily need one. Network interface, you can have a specific one. And this is all the different ones. Blah, blah, blah. Here we are. System boot. Run on system startup. I recommend unchecking that box. Please uncheck that box. It will slow your system down on boot. And then system tray. When This is for when you hit the X icon right here in the corner on the top right you can choose for it to shut down you can minimize it to the system tray um, which is basically this right down here and you can also show a dialog box asking before you close but I just leave that unclicked because it's a waste of time so shut down immediately that is what I advise once you set your settings, you will have to reboot your FrostWire for it to take effect. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the run up on FrostWire. So for an example, I decided that I was going to show you a search. So I'm just going to search, um, boom, 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 I don't know, um, red snow for a jailbreak. So you search and you'll see the tabs right here and all this stuff will come up. You can download all kinds of shit right from FrostWire. Um, run up on downloads this is the same thing for music and such you see the tab for the search <clears throat> seeds the more seeders you have the faster the file is going to download because the more people have it online and that are sharing that 
the more seeds you have is the best for you. Um, so it, you notice that it doesn't show leechers because that's pretty much just garbage. So this is what you're looking for. And uh, you will see other things like it's very distinctive too. Like red snow for uh, Windows 8. You have red snow for Windows 7. You have red snow for Mac. You have uh, the 421 iOS um, for whatever the fuck device that is. And uh, all that fun stuff. So you can maximize it. And uh, this right here is what you can download inside this torrent. Basically, this is Snowbreeze Pwned IPSW, iPhone uh, 1, Snowbreeze, blah, 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 Red Snow, uh, Cityo Auto Install, that, all, all that fun shit. So you can, by hitting the plus right here on whatever you're choosing to download, it'll show you a list of what there is available inside that torrent, and you can uncheck the things that you don't need. So that is pretty much how you command with um, Frostwire. So, again, thanks for watching. This is a little tutorial on how to use Frostwire properly in recommended settings. Um, to download, again, go to frostwire.com. It will automatically detect your operating system and what system you're running on, whether it be Mac, Linux, or Windows, and it will download the correct version for you. Exit this, it'll say shutting down, and your computer is back up to speed. So again, enjoy, subscribe to my channel, check out my website and blog, and I will talk to you guys next time. So enjoy Frostwire for your torrent downloadings. Uh, torrent sites that you can get torrents from, just go on Google and search torrent, and uh, it'll lead you to sites on where you can purchase torrents from to download your media.